Welcome to Hardcore Garage. What are we getting into today? That was a night day. <laughs> that was a good one. Now do you go back and forth a little bit? Nope. I just uh, I just kind of I'll tack in one spot, make sure that both pieces of the metal are bond together, and then just kind of move over and tack again. Um, I don't try to do like a big bead in a row on, on body metal. Well, no, like like here. I mean, start well, that, just get hot. Just do that. Just, yeah, yeah, and then just that, move over. Not, that don't look bad at all. Yeah, yeah. Once you get your pedal. Going, A little bit big on the on the on the first side, but it, yep, you know, I mean attached. Gonna, I can see. Yep. You know. You're gonna grind out all that back out, anyways. I am. I do own a welder, but I'm not a welder. See, I've Better. done most of this shit just like you guys. You just just you just do it, man. <laughs> not doing bad. The gas does do a whole lot better, man. I'm not burning through. I, I, I can remember burning through a lot with that, yep. with that flux score. That, that actually looks... That it looks good. Looks, that looks like a good really one. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Not to brag on myself or anything, but... No, that's... Uh, inert gas is... my take on this welding takes practice lots of practice I've been welding for a while and I still suck never ever learned how to set my own welder I always just adapted to whatever anybody else set the welder for me and that's probably how I'll still do it once Kevin left, I was able to weld quite a bit on this fender here until I blew through two spots. And I don't know, I don't know what that means. Um, you know, he said if I was blowing through, I wasn't moving fast enough. Um, or the voltage was too high. I didn't experiment with trying to change either of those things. I just got frustrated and stopped for now. Um, I think anybody can probably do this. Would I want to be trying to do it on the outside of a panel if I didn't have a clue what I was doing? Absolutely not. You will destroy a door trying to shave it yourself or, or a, a body panel. You'll warp the heck out of it and it will cost you a lot to get it made back to the way it needs to go. So, you know, don't try that. <laughs> Unless you just don't care. And then, you know, then try it, whatever. <laughs> this part here, 
it, it just never, no one's ever going to see it. No one's probably ever going to notice that I did it anyway. It's only going to be something that I see. Um, just something that bugs me. I don't like anywhere where it looks like an unfinished part of the truck. So this will be the only truck that I go that far on also. But anyway, anybody can get a welder. I don't know, 200, 250 bucks. I think you can get a decent welder and go to town. There's a lot of stuff you can do with a welder. I say go for it. Um, I'm going to weld a little bit more on this later and we'll get back to this when we throw some dirt glass on here and show you guys a little more how-to on that part of it, some sanding, and show you what the finished product looks like and how nice you can make something look. Hardcore garage. Till next time, keep on trucking.